Archer Aviation. Today, I've got the exact price per seat on Midnight, the cost per seat on Midnight, and so many more interest and financials. Let's talk. Today's going to be an interesting one, guys. Have you ever wondered how much it costs to ride on a seat on Midnight? Or how much it costs Archer Aviation to have you on that seat on Midnight? Well, I have all the financials here. We've broken it down. And I want to give a special thanks today to one of our followers on X. And you may all know him. It's Archer Daily. So if you haven't checked out Archer Daily on X, make sure to give him a follow he has so much good information and while you're at it follow us on x we're growing that archer community but without further ado let's just jump straight into this presentation before we start this presentation i need to say this is really going to separate the weak from the strong investors it starts off a little bit bearish but the bull case just continues to grow throughout so make sure you don't just log off halfway through because you're going to get half the story so we'll jump straight in and it all came from this post that archer daily shared with me so this was from archer's investor conference in 21 so it more or less breaks down the cost of an average rideshare car and archer's ev toll estimates and this is going to be some of the data we're going to be pulling from today so we can see i'm going to ignore the car side, and we're going to focus entirely on the VTOL estimates they're giving out. So the average trip is 25 miles. We know it goes about 150 miles an hour, and the cost is 330 per seat per mile. Now keep that in your head. And that gives you $2.63 revenue per mile. This is not profit. Average trip, 12 minutes. It doesn't really matter to us today. They can do an average 25 trips per day and they can operate for 365 days per year. And their revenue is 2.4 billion. So let that sink in for a second. So the yearly revenue per aircraft of 2.4 billion, we already know from that. 25 miles is the average trip. 25 trips on average per day operating 365 days a year will give you the miles accumulated. And that is 25 miles by 25 trips. And that gives you 625 miles per day. 625 miles per day by 365 days gives you 228,125 miles over the entire year. So, we know the yearly revenue is 2.4 billion. So if we go 2.4 billion and we divide it by the amount of miles accumulated over the year, that'll give us the exact revenue per mile we'll get from the midnight. So that equals $10.52 per mile on the midnight. Now you're going to think 330 was the cost but we have to think about it. It's the cost per seat. So if we break that down at four seats per aircraft, that is 1052, and we divide that by four. This is just the revenue they're taking in per mile. And for any of you who have just came here for that, it's $2.63 they'll be charging per seat on midnight per mile. However, this way it gets really interesting. So the revenue per seat is 263. The cost per seat is $3.30, so something doesn't add up there. That means they're making a loss per mile of $0.67. Cent. Now, this way you're going to want to stick with me. If you drop off now, you're going to be very bearish, and you're going to say the Hustle Brothers are extremely bearish on midnight. However, that is not the fact, and let me show you why. So there is hope, and in case you're thinking back... It's not 330 per seat. Archer themselves said 330 per seat is the cost to run the midnight. So then we go on to their next page. They have clearly stated they're doing 2.4 million in revenue per midnight. 
and the operating income is 1.1 million with direct and indirect operating costs. So in order to drive the profitability, Archer plans to operate its fleet of vehicles for urban air mobility, which we already know. So the direct operating costs will decline over time through scale manufacturing, battery energy density improvements, and autonomy. But you're thinking the numbers don't add up, so we're going to dive straight into them. The bit I want to focus on is over the life of the aircraft, they believe the urban air mobility business will be three times more profitable than direct OEM sales. But what does that make you think? This is where the figures are going to get a little bit crazy, and this is where we get a little bit more bullish. So over the lifetime of the aircraft, they believe that their urban air mobility business, which is basically their Uber business, would be three times more profitable than the direct sales of the Midnight. So what is the profit for direct sales from Midnight? So this is a little bit fuzzy, but this is the best I could get. So if you can't read it, this is straight from Archer Direct, and they believe they can provide meaningful upfront cash flows and revenue diversity, initially targeting 50% of revenue mix initially. So they're going to do 50% through sales, and they're going to do 50% through their ride share. But their goal is transitioning to 20 to 30% over the long term. And they're targeting 50% plus gross margin. So I'm going to just focus on 50% gross margin now. So if they're targeting 50% gross margin, we know they're aiming to sell the midnight for around $5 million. The gross margin on that would be $2.5 million per aircraft. The Covington, Georgia factory gives you 625 midnight per year once they're fully up and running. We're fully aware now they're not producing 625 midnight, but this is when the business is fully operating. So to calculate the profit, we'll do 5 million. And if we do it after Covington, Georgia, full year's production, it'd be 3.125 billion. At a 50% gross margin, that is 1.53 billion. So going off these figures, of only 625 per year. So if the profit from the ride share is three times that of the sales, which they previously mentioned, they would produce another 1.53 billion times three, and that is 4.59 billion, just from them 625 midnight aircraft. But you're gonna wanna know from a single aircraft. So this is what how we work it out. So how much profit per aircraft and what is their lifetime? So we're going to find out how long will the aircraft actually operate for. So the sales of the aircraft, you'd make 2.5 million profit on a single midnight. The operating lifetime, they've said, is 7.5 million in profit. So that's important. They've said in profit. So that makes it easy enough for us to work out. So we've 10 million profit in a midnight's lifetime. However, if they sell to a company and they want to operate it themselves, it's just 2.5 million profit. However, if they sell to them and then operate them, it'd be 10 million profit. But how long is the lifetime of a single midnight? That's a really important question and it's quite easy to answer. So revenue per seat, we knew is 263 per mile. They didn't mention about upping the revenue, so we're gonna concentrate on the costs. So the lifetime profit is 7.5 million in the air taxi. The target in a 50% gross margin. The cost will then have to be $1.31, $1.32. And therefore that would mean the profit is also 132. If they have four seats, That'd mean it'd be $5.26 in profit per mile. Because if you think four seats, they're traveling over that mile distance. No, it's just simple maths. It's 7.5 million divided by 526. And that gives you 1.4 million. I'm not going to name it out. And the average trip we knew before is 25 miles. So if we divide that by 25, it's 60,000 trips. But that doesn't mean nothing to you. 60,000 trips divided by 
25 trips per day, which they said they could do, would give you 2,400 days operating lifetime. But who knows what 2,400 days is? You want to know it in years. And before I do it, make sure to hit that subscribe button because my head is fried with mats today. 2,400 days operating lifetime is divided by 365 and that gives you a 6.58 year lifetime of the midnight aircraft. Now, did you expect this to be more or less? Please let me know. And guys, there's one more thing you have to do. You need to stay up to date per month on everything that's going on. And that's why I'm going to drop this video next. So I'll meet you right there.